No matter where you live, I truly believe that you should have a beautiful, functional, and organized space. Hey sis, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Wayna and I make videos on home decor and rental friendly home decor. But in today's video, I'm gonna tell you guys about my problem. Meet my problem child, the very rental friendly small refrigerator. This refrigerator has been on my to-do list for quite some time. I called myself reorganizing everything in 2019, but what I realized is I didn't really invest any money into the refrigerator. I tried to go to the Dollar Tree as well as purchase a few things from Ikea that were very inexpensive and it just didn't get the job done. And so the issues that I've been having with the refrigerator is that I find myself wasting a lot of food, which in turn is wasting money. We eat takeout way too much. I cannot meal prep because I don't really know what's in the refrigerator to begin with. And because I have all of this stuff that I'm not even using, it's limiting the space that I do have. Not to mention, it's super hard to keep it organized and clean. So I am dedicating myself and this week to organizing this refrigerator and this freezer. And I'm going to spend a little money in here. I feel like this is definitely worth it. Now, I do want to point out that I'm using a spray that is non-toxic. This is the Infuse spray and I purchased it from Target. So step one, I like to clear everything out. I do this whenever I'm decorating or organizing. I just pull everything out and see what I'm working with. And then step two, I like to clean everything. Step three is to toss out any expired food and take inventory of what you have left over as well as what you plan to purchase. And then step four is to take measurements of your refrigerator before you leave the house so that while you're shopping for your new storage solutions, you'll know exactly what's going to fit and what will not. So I hit up the container store, TJ Maxx, West Elm and Crate and Barrel. I got a few things that I needed as well as a few things that I wanted but if you want to see what those items look like just check out this video here I'll have it linked in the description box below all right so starting with the freezer I picked up these bins from the home edit collection I have been loving the home edit collections Instagram page and so I was super excited to finally invest in some of their quality pieces I know that even though I'm a renter, I'm going to need something to organize my refrigerator no matter where I move to. So I just really felt like this was a really good investment. Not to mention, it looks real good. All right, and so these are some of the things that I purchased. It doesn't look like a lot, but honestly, I didn't really throw away much. It's just the fact that everything is housed in a circular fashion. I was just able to put way more in this refrigerator. So after I finished hitting up all the stores and organizing everything, this is what I was left with. And I am very, very satisfied. I love the fact that I can see everything in this refrigerator Everything is super categorized and I have more room to actually buy more stuff. So one thing I notice is that when people do their organizational type videos and they're cleaning out their refrigerators, they really don't have a lot of things that you would normally see like meal prepped food and different sauces and condiments. Uh, I just see a lot of fruits and vegetables. And although I do eat a lot of fruits and vegetables, that's not the only thing that's in my refrigerator. So I really, really like this setup because I feel like it's very practical. Not only are you able to house, you know, the food that you're going to cook, but you have space left over for any leftovers. And like I said, any food that you meal prep. So I found these really cute containers at the container store and then I found another one at TJ Maxx and it just allows you to kind of house your onions lemons and avocados as well as I found this liner that's at the bottom and it allows me to put my fresh clean produce 
down there and kind of absorb some of the water. And then if we move up to the freezer, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I have little decals on all of my acrylic pieces. So I'm able to see exactly what goes in there. And I just think it makes the freezer look so fun. But I was able to house all of my frozen fruits and vegetables and put my other stuff on the bottom. And so this is the before and after. All right, moving on. Now I have a lot of mugs. I will honestly say I'm a little addicted, that's okay. And the problem that I'm faced with lately is that I'm running out of space. And so I am going to attempt to create more space in my bookshelves. I know a lot of things that are in these cabinets are not necessarily needed and it's starting to turn into like a junk cabinet. So I'm going to pull everything out, organize some stuff, donate some stuff, and then just store things in a different space. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and change out my hardware. I found some new hardware at Home Goods, and so I think it looks really good. But this is what it looks like afterwards. And I had a few areas that needed additional shelves. So I went to Ikea and I picked up two more long Billy bookcase shelves and then one smaller one. And I was able to put so much more stuff into this bookshelf. I'm telling you guys, if you have a small kitchen and you're running low on storage space, get yourself some bookshelves. It doesn't have to be the really tall ones. It could be the shorter Billy bookcase or just a bookcase in general and just use the bookcases because it works so well. And this part is kind of like playing Tetris. You just try to make everything fit. And there you go. I still have more space if I need to add more stuff. And so moving on to the other cabinet, I like to keep all of my wallflowers and candles in this middle bookshelf and I was running out of space in here also not to mention the wallflowers that I do house in here they're not that tall so I wanted to get another shelf just to maximize some space and so that's what I'm doing here I'm just adding another shelf so that I can see all of my wallflowers and use them and have more room for anything else that I purchase in the future All right, so I told you guys I went to Ikea and I got those Billy bookshelves. Well, this is what I found in the as this section and I am so excited because everything was only a dollar. So I have some nice little organizational uh, containers as well as some flutes for some champagne. And I also picked up these bowls as well as this little plate for a dollar. I just like little bowls like this in case you have like fruit that you wanna serve with say breakfast or dinner, you just drop them in those bowls and they look so nice. But I'm really excited about these containers that I found because I was using them in the laundry room, but I only found one out of the as is section a long time ago. So now that I have these two new ones that was only $7 total, I get to add my baking soda as well as my OxyClean. And now my laundry room is gonna look even better. How cute is that? All of these glass containers were under $10 because I was patient and I waited. So there you have it. That is the before after of my very, very junky refrigerator and my very, very junky bookshelves. But now I feel like I can breathe better and I'm just able to meal prep even more and cook faster because I know where everything is and I'm organized again. So I hope this helps you guys, helps and motivates you to go ahead and tackle your refrigerator because it will make things easier for you in the long run and you will be able to you know, just save money as well as eat healthier. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching. And as always, don't forget, be you, be beautiful, be chic on a budget. And I will see you guys on my next upload. Bye, guys.